With Logic Pro X 10.2.3, Apple added the loudness meter. So what's this plugin all about? Well, I'm here to lift the lid on the plugin that sees Logic X hit the world of average level metering, LUFS. So why did Apple add this plugin and what does it mean for you? PPM, VU, DB, DBFS, DBTP, with so many ways to measure the strength of audio, why do we need another LUFS? Isn't it all just a bit too confusing? And is it relevant to you? Older forms of metering still have a firm relevance in music recording and production. Broadcast media though has an Achilles heel and that's the standardization of audio levels across content. Advertisers like record labels loved the loudness war because if their advert could be two or three dBs louder than the advert before, which do you think would likely stand out more? the brains at something called the International Telecommunication Union, or ITU, scratched their heads and came up with a way to standardize audio across content. Hopefully, I've not lost you or put you off just yet, because trust me, there's some cool stuff coming up. Before I go any further, let's briefly talk about how Logic's loudness meter reads levels. As discussed in previous chapters, there are two basic ways to measure audio using the level meter, RMS and peak. RMS gives you an indication of the average level and peak the loudest. So here's the rub. RMS tells you what the average level is but can't read long-term average values from start to finish of the entire music. Peak gives you no indication of how loud your music actually is. You can only gauge loudness if it's heard for a relatively long period of time. Our ears are essentially wired to be long-term averaging meters, and that's exactly what the loudness meter aims to do, to measure audio signals like your brain does when sound passes through your ears. The loudness meter has three ways to measure amplitude momentary, short-term, and integrated. Momentary has the fastest response of around 400 milliseconds and essentially allows you to monitor the peaks of transients like snares or gunshots, for example, if you're dubbing a film. Short-term has a longer response time measuring average levels over several seconds, similar to RMS, giving an indication of the short-term average level. For integrated, think of your music from start to finish. View it like a landscape with the music's average level rising up and dropping down over time from beginning to the very end. Integrated measures the average level for the entire music, providing a more accurate reading, similar to the way we perceive loudness as humans. Integrated only works once you click the start button and play your track from beginning to end. The plugin will analyze the entire mix and give you an integrated value and LU range. Values and readings can be reset by clicking the reset button. We'll look at what all this means shortly. In order of importance, the integrated value is king, followed by short term and then momentary. But of course, the three work in tandem. In the next part, let's look at three different tracks using Logic's sound library and compare their loudness levels using the plugin. <laughs>